Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Wok in Covent Garden, London. I'm here to show you some salmon bites in EXO sauce. EXO sauce is a dried scallop and shrimp chilli paste. This is from my book, Chinese on Chops. Let's start with the first sort of base ingredients. I'm gonna finely slice about half an onion. And then some red chili. That'll go nicely with the XO. I like the seeds, we'll keep them in. I like to keep as little cleaning up as possible as you're cooking. So this is our wok clock. Start at 12 o'clock with your first ingredient. You can go all the way around. So it's nice and organized. I'm ready for my stir fry. Got some garlic. Already been finely chopped. You can have finely chopped, finely sliced, either way is good. And then the salmon, I'm going to take the skin off. A little, little bit on one side. And then long gliding movements with your knife. You're just following down with your left hand. Take that skin off. You notice I'm not using a filleting knife here. Chinese style, cleaver for everything. The large surface area of a cleaver is really, really useful for all different types of slicing and dicing. You want good chunks of salmon. So if you have got fillets like this, I would just cut into a fillet like so. Wok clock, pretty much ready. All we're missing on there, some sugar snaps. Balance out the dish nicely. And then we just have to make up your EXO salmon sauce. The sauce is really easy. This stuff is actually quite expensive, EXO sauce. If you find it, you can either use it sparingly, or if you're cooking a dish like this is where all that sort of seafoody flavour is going to come from, we're going to really go for it. It's a popular home dish. So I'm going to put four spoons of your XO. Yeah, really nice scallopy dry shrimp flavour into here. Oyster sauce, the epitome of savoury flavour in Chinese cuisine. I've actually got a gluten-free oyster sauce here. One of the new, new products. You get a lot of gluten-free customers in the school, so it's nice to get to serve everyone. <laughs> One tablespoon of your oyster sauce. And then just to sweeten it up a little. Sweet chili sauce. Two spoons. Sweet chili sauce. Got a good mix through. Really quite seafoody that flavour. You've got to enjoy your seafood to like this dish. Light soy sauce, the saltiness, just one spoon. And then we're gonna to top that up with a bit of stock. Chicken stock, veg stock, fish stock, your choice. Fairly strong flavoured sauce here ready for my stir fry. Right, when you're wok cooking this time, you've got to make sure that you cook things in the right order. I want every bite of salmon to be whole at the end of the stir fry. So I'm gonna cook the veg, or some of the veg, take it out, then cook the salmon, and bring the veg back in to the stir fry at the end. Cooking it separately like that will ensure that my salmon pieces come out 
piece by piece rather than breaking up too much in the stir fry. First things first, my base veg. Onions, high heat, just keep moving your onions around. Give it a couple of wok tosses if you need to cool it down a little and then back down on the heat. It's a serious flash frying here. Push that to the back and take a little more oil, not too much, just a little bit for your garlic and chilli. The garlic and chilli can come in. Toss that through a couple of times. And then take that straight out of the wok. Mainly so you don't choke yourself up. Next up, more oil, not too much in the wok. This time, that oil really needs to be smoking, smoking hot because I'm gonna flash fry the salmon into that oil. Smoking hot for about five seconds or so, and then the salmon goes straight in. Let that sear nicely, and then just carefully flick it through and sear both sides. You can see that salmon's not sticking too much to the base, which is good news. So then just place that straight over your veg. We're gonna finish this stir fry off really quickly now. So, last bit of veg, your sugar snap peas. Fold that through. When my sauce goes in, it will really cook those sugar snaps through very quickly. So my sauce, Coming in now on a really high heat, you can see the smoke forming in the wok. My sauce is going to hit that. Bring that to a vigorous boil. Once your, once your sauce is vigorously boiling, you want to get your salmon and chilli and onions back into there. Just carefully fold through so as not to break the salmon. That will take about one to two minutes and then we're ready to serve up. So this is really seriously quick cooking. You can see the amount of steam coming off that sauce. It's almost like you're sort of quick stewing the salmon. Keep it nice and succulent. Serve up, just go nice and careful. Try not to break those pieces up. Two sprigs of coriander over the top. Really quick, sort of fishy, seafoody dinner. Yes, salmon bites in exo sauce. What's really difficult when you're cooking fish is trying to keep your fillet together because it's so delicate. When you flash fry it like that, treat it as carefully as you can. You've got a great dish. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to get the latest action from School of Wok.